So today I'm going to show you how we can implement SQL Jams in Pentaho PDI. So let me see my database. Currently I'm using MySQL on my local database. So I have two tables. Uh, one is patients and patient address. The patient table has five patients with the ID and name one two three four five six and and the patient address a table have three records patient ID one two three and address one two so it's a, it's just a simple test data and here if you see how we join these skills over here so select ID name address one address two from patients join patient address on id so this will give you three three records only because only three records are matching on id so how we can implement this join in pentaho pdi so it's a simple join so i already prepared one oh so what we need to do is First, take a table input component from input section. Uh, create new transformation and take table input component from new input input section. So here we'll find table input, and from that, if you open here. So for the first time, if you are preparing the transformation, click on new. We are already have defined one database connection name so just you can edit it so here we will mention database connections so I as I already created one so I'm just editing to show you how I created so first you need to select the type of database you are connecting to and in general what is the type of database I'm using MySQL so localhost database name and port username and password click on test to test your connection it is saying okay it is it is that it is connecting successfully click okay and now copy paste all the call you know code he implemented here for joining so just copy and paste So those three records are coming here okay click ok and just I'm writing this result into the log open log get fields if you get fields all the input fields will get into here and let's run this so you can see here Linear one, one patient one A A, linear two, patient two B B, linear three, patient three C. So the same result. And if you do or let's join. So one two three will be having address and address two. And four five will not have that, so they will become null as we are doing left gen. And let's test the same. Preview rows. Transformation. So now five rows are returned. Linear one, patient one A. Patient 2 BB, patient 3 CC, patient 4, patient 4, address 1 and 2 are null, patient 5, address 1 and 2 are null. So total 5 percent. So this is one method of implementing the joins. But there is another method where we can implement these joins using two streams. We are using the joins component. Let me show you that as well. For that. I just remove this connection copy here 
paste one more so i'm using reusing the connection just because i'm connected to the same table which is existed on the same data so what i do is just so i am fetching all the records from patient's table and i'm fetching all the records from patient address table so i'm going to join these two if you see here join section join rows it is a cartesian products which returns a cartesian join the med join this is the one we are in, we are looking for so just drag it so there so i am joining the patient's table with patient at the table based on let me expand this little bit so there okay let me let me rename this table input 1 now patient Patient's input and the topic is patient address input. I renamed this to have a clear picture of what we are signing with. So first step one is patient input and step two is patient at the silver so basically we are selecting left and right table while joining the two tables so it the, the, the joint type we are mentioned here in the join in a join and based on the field you can get fields here you get three fields here so and we need to have we need only one field as common add an id and id so here the warning is if the incoming data is not sorted ascending on a specific key the output result may not be correct we recommend it sorting incoming data with the transformation so what is what it is saying is when we are joining two tables based on one id so that that id should be sorted while data is coming in streams so for that so it's it said if the is incoming data is not sorted in ascending order so for that so what we are doing is so it's perfect now and let me remove this so first we sort this two ids for that we have component called sort component sort rows double click select double click and sort rows patient and field name is id ascending is yes we have want to stream sort the streams in ascending order based on the id and sort rows patient address based on the field id in ascending yes okay so now the data is sorted now we can join but now the input component has changed from patient input patient address input to sort rows patients and sort rows patient id so for that we need to change this so 
Sartre's patients join with Sartre's patient address inner join based on this ID 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 so still we can get field here here and all the same field comes here get field clear and add again remove remove okay still it throws the warning that's okay and let's write this data to log get fields clear and add all again so id name id and that's it let's run the report so we are joining inner join so only it should return only three records patient uh, id1 patient1 one, id1 one, it is from second table aa pb and cc patient id3 and c it's the same result So one two three IDs and if we do a left join it should return one two three one two three records with address and four five without address so let me change the type to left left outer join and save run again so it has written three five records linear one to linear five uh, one a two pb c three is three cc and four null address because it should not have any so it could not find any matching record on the patient address table and id5 is null lab and let me change the type to write out or join and we can test here so it returns one two three Yeah, one, two, and three. Full out of time. Save. So it returns all the five records A, A, 2, B, B, 3, C, C, 4, null, final. So this is how the joins works. So we can implement joins in two ways one we can write the sequels with joins and take the table input component and implement joins and another way is joining two tables individually in streams with merge join this is how we implement the joins in pentaho pdi thank you if you have any doubts questions you can ping you can comment here so and if you and also if you need any use case to be implemented on pentaho pdi just comment here i can help you out thank you